Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I can't break the old sound in my voice. <clears throat> it's a very nice drawing. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. And I lived happily ever after. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. Is somebody up there? Hey! Wait here. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Probably behind you. No? Shit. I'm surprised. Hey. How you doing? Don't you go there, mister. I'm sorry. That's enough, all right? Just shut it. <laughs> Man, he's a bad father. I'm going to teach him some freaking manners. Remember this part? Oh man, this part makes me really sad. All right, here we go. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain fight. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just little like toe? his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Somebody was in your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... It's fine. Relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time or something. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. All right. Uh -huh. Now this happened. Fucking hell! Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Knows with the lad. I saw the door over here. The old lock's busted too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Well, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building.
Where's your shin and your neck at, dude? I should say something. I should probably get that thing fixed. Hmm. Look, you want me out of here, I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. Uh-oh. Ew. Hmm. What happened here? The poker? What of it? There's fresh blood on the tip. You can smell it from the door. Oh, I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mavering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. I've really been meaning to clean the place. There's more blood over here. Oh? Really? Yeah, still fresh. Well, like I told you, I cut me hand. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rat. Must have got some on the furnishments. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait, you cut your hand? You told me before that you cut your foot. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. That's it, I want him to come clean. God, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. That's it. I'm done. He's gonna tell me what's going on here. Yeah, it's an awful mess. Forgot where I kept my uh, first aid. I know something's off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Bigby. There's nothing going on. There's just... There's just nothing to tell. Look around the room and see for yourself. Everything has its explanation, you'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse engineer whatever scheme this is. Big boys in the other room, Big B. Come on now. We're friends, right? Damn, <clears throat> Jesus! You're gonna tell me, right now, what the fuck happened before we showed up. Big B, I... It even has the faintest whiff of bullshit. I'm gonna... Dad! Big B, is this really necessary? Oh. Maybe, uh... Dad! Oh my god. Take off your hat. Bigby, you didn't. He didn't. Hello! It was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dama D. You gotta strip him down to the Johnny's before he can the switch. He come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a whole morning, I can tell you that. What was he looking for? I don't have a fucking clue, Sheriff. 
I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. <laughs> uh, sometimes. Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. <laughs> Hiding much? Jeez. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Don't make it a dilemma. Doubloons, don't drop them. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. He's a liar. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Oh, he's cute. He's cute. Always smoking. Don't start snow. Kobe. I'll be honest, Bigby. I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. It'll be all right. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is. Yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. That's true. When you put it that way. Let's go see Lawrence. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. If he objects. We're here on official Fabletown business. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. Alright, let's go. Oh, crap. Crap. Can you hear me? Going in. Someone probably died. Oh. He did. Stay with me, Lawrence. No. Be all right. No. Let me go. Lawrence, no. <laughs> I see dead people. What is it that you're telling us? <gasps> Bigby, water. Kitchen. Oh, I thought we were going to go water, toilet. I should just take my good old time right now, getting the swatter no, I shouldn't. Ugh. 
Let's go. Hey, Colby. If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Who did this to you? The heck? Close his eye on this guy, about the Faith girl. Do you still have that letter? Yes. Open it now. You should. It might be something that helps us. A clue. Or a lead. I need to know. What does it say? I'm sorry. Faith. It's only two words. But he died with Could you be a little bit more specific? I'm sorry too. We need to figure out what happened here. And find whoever did this. Didn't he just say Faith did it? She's deaf. She doesn't listen.